years. Most of us have heard of asbestos and aware that it causes lung cancer. Been up late at night and seen the mesothelioma commercials. Yep. That's the stuff. Let's talk about it and how it causes lung cancer and the current recommendations nowadays when you do find it. Asbestos is a mineral, which means technically it's a naturally occurring substance, but what makes it dangerous is its shape. The shape of asbestos is long and thin, almost like a hypodermic needle. This means it penetrates easily and it's hard to rotate. To understand why this is important, you need to understand the lungs in a very diluted definition. The first line of defense is the nose. The nose filters with a combination of hair and mucus to filter unwanted formed particles. Anything that makes it past the nose travels down the trachea where cilia are waiting. The cilia are hair-like projections that vibrate or move in a rhythm to redistribute particles. The cilia, with the help of mucus, try to move foreign objects, even back up through the trachea, where they can be ejected <laughs> through coughing. This is where the term smoker's cough comes from. The asbestos gets stuck and the cilia can't move it. With every breath the lungs expand, the mineral cannot, so it tears at the lung tissue. Just like any irritant given long enough, it can turn into a cancer. By definition, asbestos is carcinogenic. If objects make it past the cilia, they reach the alveoli, which are the air sacs where O2 and CO2 are exchanged. Then why the need for this mineral? Because it's dense and fire resistant. This is why some workers slide their hands for kiln work. It's a great insulator for heat pipes, steam radiators, even firefighter suits. I remember the first time I heard the word asbestos. I was in elementary school and they called us to the auditorium to see our new stage curtain. It was made with asbestos. Wow. What does that mean? I asked and was told it's fire resistant. That's cool. I thought you should have seen the dust fly every time the thing dropped and hit the floor. I remember just 15 years ago seeing a box of drywall mud that advertised now asbestos free. What does that mean? It means that millions of homes have it in their drywall mud and plaster. This isn't hundreds of years ago, people. This is recent stuff. It is also in certain floor tiles and that cool popcorn ceiling that my brother and I used to jump and knock down. Now you might think to yourself, I've been exposed to carcinogens, but I have no discomfort, so I'm okay but you're wrong. I was in the medical field long enough to know that the lungs have a very limited amount of nerve or pain receptors, and it's only when an issue or cancer is spread far enough to affect the other parts of the body that you feel it, and by then, it's too late. If contaminants are in your lungs, really all you can do moving forward is start wearing your personal protective equipment, or PPE, and keep your immune system up to par because carcinogens get the upper hand when your immune system is at its weakest. That's how so many people exist for so long with something they were exposed to so many years in the past. Let's talk about how to approach some of the forms of asbestos. Removal used to be the go-to, but not for all cases. Now removal can make it friable, which means loose or airborne. Once it's loose, it's easy to get into the lungs. That's when you breathe it in. The worst case friable I can think of is demolition. Think any of that was let loose when the trade towers went down? Now encapsulation is a better approach. Here's one of my inspections where the original ductwork is sealed with asbestos. Here's what asbestos looks like in this case. This was a piece of tape that was used to wrap the ductwork. Look how easy it would be to just discard this like it was a regular piece of tape. This is proper encapsulation. All the ductwork is covered with foil back bubble wrap. Perfect encapsulation and since the wrap is reflective, there's less heat transfer for all my thermography cohorts. Pay attention to your surroundings and if there are doubts about the products, you can always call home inspector to have a look. Remember, anything can be tested and we need you around for a long time. At least take care of yourself for your kids' sake. To your kids, you are a superhero. And we all know, superheroes never die. Want to know what else I saw today? Subscribe to our channel and we'll keep you in the loop.